Hey guys, Doug B here, your average axe wielding hack. Hey, yesterday Fractal released new beta firmware, version 20.04 beta. Let's take a look at it, see what we can find. Looking at the notes, we have these changes. More drive block improvements, added esoteric base RCB and BB Pre AT drive models, updated BB Pre drive model to match latest circuit, which is version 1.5, Increase the range of the level parameters in multi-tap delay to minus 100% to plus 100%. Added cross-feedback parameters to quad parallel type and multi-tap delay block. Added Aurora delay preset to demonstrate capability. Added PVH 6160 plus crunch model. Fix clone Chiron optional EQ not working. Various other fixes and improvements. Now that's a lot of stuff to test. There's a new version of Axe Edit available that works with this new beta firmware. I'll put a link in the description. Now I've put together another preset that takes advantage of these updates. It uses the looper, drive, amp, cab, and multi-tap delay blocks. It has five scenes, amp plus Aurora, esoteric plus Aurora, BB Pre AT plus Aurora, BB Pre Dry, and clone Chiron Dry. So there's four scenes to try the new updated drive models, and then we'll also have one scene without a drive model so we can hear the new amp model by itself. The drive block will use all four channels. We'll put the esoteric base RCB in channel A, the BB Pre AT in channel B, the BB Pre in channel C, and the clone Chiron in channel D. Just for reference, the esoteric base RCB is modeled after the exotic base RC booster. The BB Pre AT is modeled after the exotic BB Preamp AT. The BB Pre is modeled after the exotic BB Preamp version 1.5. And of course, the Klon Chiron is modeled after the Klon KTR. The amp block will use the new PVH 6160 Plus Crunch model in channel A and will be used for all five scenes. The PVH6160 Plus is modeled after the PV6505 Plus. Now since the default speaker impedance curve for the 6160 Plus crunch model is the 4x12 PVH6160, we should try to find an IR that matches that speaker impedance curve as closely as possible. Remember, the speaker impedance curve basically tells the amp what type of speaker is connected to it. So let's see if we can find a good match. So we go to the cab block, and the easiest way to find this, of course, is to go to the picker, and then going up here into the search dialog box in the upper right-hand corner. Now, if you put 4x12 PVH6160 and hit enter, you get nothing. But take 6160 off and hit enter, and there we have two of them right here. So I'm using legacy number 107, a 4x12 PVH6160 mix. The multi-tap delay block is using the new Aurora delay in channel A. It's more than likely modeled after the Keeley Halo Andy Timmons duel. Now you can see the new feedback parameters, feedback 1 into 2, feedback 2 into 3, feedback 3 into 4, and feedback 4 into 1. Also, you can see that the range for the level parameter is indeed minus 100 to 100. Minus 100, plus 100. Let's try this preset out. I'll list which each scene is using on screen. And then for scene 5, which uses the clone Chiron, I'll record a loop, and then we'll try the EQ options while the loop is playing. <laughs> Thank you. 
guys we are in scene five clone chiron dry this is so we can play a loop which i've just recorded and then we can try the advanced tone controls for the clone chiron to see if they work so here we go <laughs> I would say that yes, it definitely does work. So there you have it guys, my quick run through of firmware 20.04 beta. So far there have been no reports of any problems with it at all, which means it'll probably be going into production soon. The one thing that is interesting is that somebody noted that the PVH 6160 plus crunch model is the 299th model in the amp list. So now everyone is putting forth what they want the 300th amp model to be. Guys, guys, guys. <laughs> but anyway, this is a very, very popular firmware. If you want to try it, like I said, so far, no problems with it all. And I will have a link in the description for both the firmware and the new Axe Edit. Okay, guys, now next Wednesday, we will be back at the factory one more time digging through those factory presets and letting the random number generator pick us a preset to try out. Now you don't want to miss that, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right guys, we will see you next Wednesday. Have a great weekend.